Hey, Starseeds. Welcome to Peyton Energetics. I'm Peyton. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about preparing for ascension. As you all know, we are on the verge of the final phase of our transition from the old construct of the 3D world into fifth dimension, into unity consciousness. And one of the things that as star seeds, we are so excited about from this whole ascension process is the opportunity to connect with our galactic family. So because we are getting so close to the final phase, I wanted to check in with the Pleiadians. And as you all know, I am a channel for the Pleiadians. So I like to check in with them. And sometimes I refer to them as the guides. But I wanted to see what advice they had for starseeds as we are moving so close to our final bump into 5D, into being galactic citizens again. Because what I am seeing from so many of my starseed clients and students is that people are connecting with their starseed family so easily these days. The veil has gotten so thin and so many starseeds are so excited to connect with their galactic family that I wanted the Pleiadians to give us some tips. What should we be doing to speed this up, to help ourselves be as prepared as we can be to join the galactic family? So the first thing the Pleiadians had for us in terms of of suggestions for how we can prepare ourselves for joining the galactic community is first off that everything is about our frequency. So I have talked in a couple of these videos and I know y'all know this, you guys are so incredibly informed, you have done your work so well that we already know that the most important thing for us to focus on as starseeds and lightworkers is our frequency. As the guides always say, your frequency is everything. So in a recent video, the Pleiadians were telling us why our frequency is so important. And just a quick refresher in case you are newer to your spiritual path or newer to the starseed journey, why our frequency is so important and what it actually is. Well, as we think about it in the spiritual community, everything is energy. And this is what our scientists tell us, but we're starting to understand so much better in the spiritual community what this actually means. So according to the guides, as humans, we are emitters of frequency. So what that means is we are sending out a signal constantly to the universe and we call this signal our frequency or our vibration. And we send this signal out every minute of every day. And what happens is the universe, because one of our universal laws is what you send out, you get back. So what happens is as we send our frequency out to the universe, the universe matches that and brings us back feelings, experiences, and a life, basically, that matches our signal. So you can think of your frequency as your own personal radio station. Whatever signal you send out, that's what you get back. If you are sending out country music as a signal, you're going to be hearing country music. And the same thing goes for your frequency. So if you are constantly in a state of joy and love, the universe is going to bring you back feelings and experiences of joy and love. And if you are always sending out a frequency of fear or anger, guess what you're going to get back? So for that reason, the universal principle that what you send out is what you get back. That is why we say in energy work and intuitive work, our signal is everything. Our frequency is everything. So the number one thing that the guides recommend is that we become masters of our signal. So how do you do that? When we say be a master of your frequency or be a master of your vibration, what in the world does that even mean? Well, that is a holistic system. So to be masters of our energy and our frequency is everything we are talking about in the spiritual community. Part of it is doing our healing work. So part of it is doing our 
inner work, that shadow work that we like to talk about all the time in the energy world, healing our inner traumas, healing anything in us that we are still holding on to, anything that is still making us feel bad, anything that is putting us in fear, any grudges we are still holding on to, and most of us still have a few. So doing that healing work is part of mastering your signal. Another thing that is a part of this is to start to examine our limiting beliefs. So where are you holding on to beliefs in lack, limitation, separation? It's time to start cleaning those up. As you do that, what happens? You raise your frequency. So everything that we do in the spiritual community in terms of our inner work, our healing work, releasing limiting beliefs, visualizing and creating what we want to create, all of that contributes to making us a master of our frequency. So everything that we are talking about, and in my classes, I like to teach five or six kind of core rules or core processes that help you control your frequency. Because once we have five or six basic foundational practices, you will find you are a master of your frequency. So make sure you check out my website if you need some help with that. My one-on-one classes walk you through it step-by-step. So check that out on PeytonEnergetics.com. So after mastering our frequency, which is number one, that is the thing that is, according to the guides, the most important thing we can be doing as starseeds to start to prepare ourselves to meet our galactic family is again, being able to control your signal, being able to control your frequency, no matter what anyone else in the world is doing, because we alone are in control of our frequency. You are the sole owner of that radio dial. And the only thing that can move you off of it is you. So one of the things that the Pleiadians encourage us to do to prepare us for the ascension process, for meeting our galactic family, is to start removing our attention from what other people are doing. And this is so hard because let's face it, we are bombarded with information 24 seven. We are always on the phone, watching the TV, on the social media looking at what other people are doing. And so that is one of the things that the Pleiadians have been lovingly nudging us to do for the past year and a half or so is start to step away from what other people are doing. Because right now that is just a distraction. And one of the games of the matrix, and as y'all know, we are moving out of the 3D matrix And if you don't understand what the matrix is, I have a whole video series on that. So make sure you check that out. But as we are moving into 5D, into being galactic citizens, it's really important to not let distractions get to us. And part of the game of the 3D matrix is to bombard us with images and stories to distract us. And the goal of the 3D matrix is to keep humanity's vibration as low as possible. And so because of that, that is why most of the information we are fed and that is jammed down our throats from every corner of our world is to keep us in fear. Because when a population is in fear, their vibration is very low and they are easy to control. So that is the system we are moving out of. But it's very, very challenging to move out of it because we have to tune out what our senses are feeding us. So the more we are tuning into what the peanut gallery around us is doing, the more easy it is for us to be distracted and to lower our vibration in response to what other people are doing. Because let's face it, You know, as you're on social media, as you're seeing the stories that are being cranked out in the world, how often do those put you in a good mood? Almost never. So as we are looking around at what other people are doing or supposedly doing, because again, as we talked about in the Matrix videos, a lot of the information we are being fed is completely false. So we don't even know if what we are being told is happening is even happening. So one of the reasons that the Pleiadians have been encouraging us for quite a while now 
to step away. Just they know we're not going to put our phones down and never pick them up again. Not realistic. I'm certainly not going to do that. Wouldn't tell y'all to, but the more you can step away from just any source of information that is putting you in fear. That is one of the most important things we can do right now, because really fear is being cranked out at us from every angle. And it takes a lot of self-discipline for us to not engage with that. But remember, you are in control of your signal, of your frequency, and your frequency is going to be determined in large part by what you are focusing on. So one of the things the Pleiadians have been encouraging us to do is be vigilant with our focus. So where are you placing your attention throughout the day? Are you on that phone? Are you watching the information that is being cranked out right now? Are you listening to other people telling you what is happening? Because again, we are only getting the perspective of whoever is talking. And so the guides are encouraging us that it is time to be the captain of our ship, to be careful with what we are focusing on and to make sure that whatever we are focusing on is high vibrational. Are you focusing on sources of information that are empowering or are you listening to things that make you angry and put you in fear? And it's really that easy because if you are focusing on things that put you in fear or in anger, and really this is 98% of what we are being presented with right now, we are using our free will to set our signal to fear. And again, we vote with our focus. What are you placing your attention on? So one of the main pieces of advice that the Pleiadians have had for us for quite a while now is step away from any source of information that's putting you in fear. Because that's one of the biggest things we can do as starseeds to make sure we are keeping our vibration high. And again, as y'all know, I have said this on so many videos, as starseeds, we are here to hold a high vibration. That is our job as starseeds. So our job then is to not be distracted by all of the shiny toys in the world around us that want to drag us into fear. And as y'all have noticed over the past couple of months, it has continued to ratchet up. As the light has increased on the planet, as you've seen through the Schumann resonance, if you follow that, or through watching the solar energies. And if you're a light worker, you probably watch solar weather and planetary weather more than actual weather. You know that as more and more light bombards the planet, the fear dial gets cranked up because the forces that are opposing our ascension are getting more desperate. So one of the best things we can do to protect our vibration is be very careful with our focus. Because again, you are the sole controller of that. What you place your attention on affects your vibration. Something else that the Pleiadians have encouraged us to take a look at is cleaning up our lives in general. Where can you do some housekeeping in your life and clean your lifestyle? Whether that is moving toward healthier foods, higher vibrational foods, whether that is cleaning up your household environment, moving out the chemicals and the toxins. Every time we take a step like this, we move our vibrational dial up. And again, everything is that vibration. Everything is your frequency. So every step you take, even the smallest one, even if you make one change to your diet, you raise your frequency. So one thing that the guides encourage us to do is just look at where we can go cleaner. Where can we eat cleaner? Where can we make our households cleaner? Where can we make our environment cleaner? Again, the cleaner, the higher vibration. So everything that we take in, everything we are exposed to affects our frequency. So it is not just the thoughts we think, although that is a big part of it, it's everything we take in. So the big thing, of course, right now is the information we take in. The guides like to say that's part of our diet too. Anything we take in, even information, affects our frequency. So just scanning through your life, where can you clean things up? And again, you don't have to do everything in one day, 
but every step you take helps. How can you take a step to get your environment cleaner, your mind cleaner, your belief system cleaner? Again, it's all about that frequency, y'all, all about the vibration. Another thing that the guides are recommending, something that will be especially helpful if you are someone who like so many of us, are so excited to connect with our galactic family, one of the best things you can do to prepare for that is to start having a daily meditation practice. And I know I can hear y'all from here. Some of y'all are like, oh, no, not that. I hate meditating. I don't like it. But this really is one of the most important things we can do as starseeds is to find some sort of meditation practice stillness practice, breath work practice that lets you get still on a daily basis. And I'm not saying you have to meditate two hours a day. That's too much for most people, but everyone can do five or 10 minutes a day. If it really is important to you, you can find the time for 10 minutes of stillness. And as you do this, what happens is first of all, you start to train yourself out of your mind. And again, the mind is the domain of 3D. The mind is the matrix. That is the system we are moving out of. And in order to connect with our multidimensional selves, whether you are wanting to connect with your spirit guides, with your higher self, just with your intuition, or whether you are a star seed and want to connect with your star family, We have to do that through the heart, through our multidimensional processor. And the way to get in your heart is through stillness, because it is so hard to hear anything when we are stuck in the monkey mind. So getting in that heart space is the most important thing we can do to start opening the door to connecting with our galactic family. But if you are just not a fan of meditation, and I know there are so many of you out there, I've been there myself, where sitting in stillness, I would, you may as well have just killed me. It was the worst thing I could imagine. But if you are someone who struggles with meditation, a couple things that might help you are, first of all, just to find a meditation modality that works for you. So if sitting in stillness is too much, trying something like listening to music or doing a guided meditation can be very helpful, especially if you're someone who you know struggles to, to focus when you meditate, you get distracted and you're off on your grocery list or what you're gonna eat for dinner. Doing a guided meditation can really be a game changer. That was something that kind of changed the whole meditation story for me. So there are tons of great meditation modalities out there. Just find one that works for you. Because if you hate it, you're not going to do it. Let's be honest. But there are some that are actually really, really enjoyable. But if you still can't get into it, if the guided meditation doesn't work for you, listening to some sort of soothing music or something like that doesn't work for you. You can even meditate through doing a routine activity. What makes you lose time? What makes you forget where you are? You know, what is that thing you just love to do that makes you, makes an hour go by and it feels like five minutes? You know, maybe it's exercise. Some people meditate by running or by hiking or walking. So again, you can be flexible in what your meditation practice is. Make it something you love, something you actually look forward to. But again, meditation is one of the most important things and it's really kind of not negotiable. If you are looking to connect with the heart space with your multidimensional family, uh, guides, angelics, star family, we have to do it through meditation. That's just kind of how it's done. So finding some sort of meditation practice that you can actually grow to love will be so worth the time you put into it. So meditation, super important. The next thing the Pleiadians recommend is doing our healing work. And this again is something we talk about all the time in the spiritual community. And there's tons of amazing healing modalities out there, whether it is getting some sort of healing work done on your body, whether it is learning a modality yourself, if that is something that you're interested in, or even just doing your inner work. Because another one of those just necessary things is to do our inner healing, to heal our traumas. So we all have them just by being here on planet Earth. 
And if you are someone who has been fortunate to have a pretty good life and you're thinking you don't really have any traumas that come to mind, don't forget we have inherited traumas. We have unconscious traumas. So there is always something to heal as people here having a human experience. Because again, we are bringing in traumas from other lifetimes, from other times, space, and dimension. We have inherited trauma through our genetic lines, our family lines. So when the guides are talking about healing, they are talking in the broadest possible sense of healing all of our resistance. And again, resistance is the only thing keeping us out of everything we want to have in our life. So healing is very important and you can go about it through any way that feels good to you. Again, having someone work on your body and do the work for you, learning it yourself and just doing that all important inner healing, that shadow work. We just could talk about it all day because it is so important to heal and release our limiting beliefs. So that also is one of the big pieces of this puzzle. And finally, the last thing that the Pleiadians have been so big on lately. And they've talked about this in several of their monthly energy reports, if you catch those. And that is forgiveness. They said for this month that it is time for us to forgive everyone and everything, that we are so close to our final push, our final transition into 5D, that it really is time to let everything go. Because what happens when we forgive, we drop our resistance, we clear our karma. And again, this is all stuff that can't go with us to 5D. So one of the big things you can do is just scan back through your life and see where are you still holding on to anger, blame, grudges, any unfinished business, you know, where are you still angry with yourself? Self-forgiveness is such a huge thing right now because we have been so hard on ourselves just because we have been programmed by all of those dense 3D programs that most of us have quite a lot of self-forgiveness to do. But not only that, you know, where are you still holding grudges in your life? Where is there unfinished business that you have with anyone? The guides are encouraging us that one of the most important things to do is to let that go. And one of the ways we do that is through forgiveness. So getting a good forgiveness practice and really spending some time in your spiritual practice to forgive everyone and everything. The guides are saying it's one of the most important things we can do right now as we stand on that threshold of 5D. They said it's time. And this kind of weight, this kind of karmic baggage can't go with us. So we have to release it if we want to move forward. So that, guys, is the top four or five things that the Pleiadians are encouraging us to do to help us make this final shift into 5D so that we can become galactic citizens and reunite with our galactic family. I hope this helps you and I'll see you next time. Bye.